Hello guys and welcome to the next tutorial. So I did a little survey on YouTube and 65% want a new R&D series. So I think let's let's just get started. So this is fully just out of my mind. So let's get right into it. Let's just place a geometry container and let's name it Geo. And let's get it black and round and let's dive inside. So dive inside with I and dive up with U or just double click and you can click on here to go back to the object level. So let's dive inside and let's create something that looks interesting. So maybe we can do something with loops. Let's get let's get a platonic here. Let's get a simple platonic object and let's make this a uh, isocohedron, something like that. So let's get, let's group the primitives here and let's name these, let's call this GRP for group and let's call it X for extruding. Let's go and let's get a loop now. So let's get let's get for each number. Well, let's get let's get for each loop with a feedback. Let's make them a little bit bigger and let's dial here down the iteration. Let's dial it down to maybe three. So let's pipe that in here. So we've got our group here. 20 pieces, that's the primitives here. And now we want to extrude them. So let's just place here the poly extrude node. And first of all, let's inset this a little bit. So let's go to individual elements and let's inset them a little bit maybe 0 0.01 and now we want uh, to output a group so let's just get here the group EX and we want to output a group so we want to extrude back I think let's just have a look here let's get a blast node and check that out so extrude back X delete non selected I think it's the front. Yes, it's the front group. So let's get the front group out and let's get an extrude node here. And let's get the extrude front and let, let's extrude them here out a little bit. So 0 0.0, maybe 5. Let's get it back into the loop and we will get something like this. So that's that's a cool thing about loops. Let's get here 15 and you will get something like this. So you can do repetitive tasks inside of a loop and for example run the loop 15 times and the task or the nodes, the node tree inside of the loop will get executed 15 times. So, for example, you've got now 15 iterations here and now you can play with the settings here. So, for example, you can make the distance higher or you can get the inset much bigger. So, for example, 0 0.02, something like that, or 1, 2, 5. And you will get these pretty cool repetitive fractal forms. So let's play a little bit with this setup here. Let's get this higher, maybe to 20. I think 20 is enough for now. So now you can play with this. For example, you can change the input. So let's get Let's get a simple box, a really simple box. 
and you will get something like this. Let's get let's get a sphere. Let's get a sphere here. Let's get a simple sphere. Let's turn it into polygons. Let's get a frequency up here and let's remesh it to get a little bit more uneven mesh here. 0.25 and now for example you can also reduce it a little bit so something like that and plug this in and you will get something like this so that's pretty cool let's get let's get it a little bit more or you can do something like this so let's get here five, let's get one, let's get two. Let's get this one a little bit smaller here. You can, what you also can do, you can get the area and control the inset with the area, but let's just do it manually for now. So, we've got something like this or something like this here, but I want uh, to get a little bit of a different extrusion here. So what we can do, so we got here into our loop, and now I want to get a little bit of variance in the height. So in the distance of the second extrusion node. Let's just name this uh, inset. And this is extrude. Let's just color these in quickly. And now I want a different height. So let's get let's get a simple warp here. Attribute warp. Let's get into the first input and let's run it over primitives. So let's get the position here. Let's get let's get a simple random here. But let's po let's get the point number and I want a 1D integer input and a 1D out output that's correct. And now let's fit the range because the random node will give us values between 0 and 1. Let's just get the help menu up here. And you can see each number is between 0 and 1. So we will refit the range here. So source min and source max, that's alright for now. So 0 and 1. But let's refit it from 0 0.1 to maybe 1.85. So now we can just get it to, to the color here. Or we can get it... bind that out and let's call it ex dist for extrusion distance and let's have a look oh, okay oh let's get a prim number so we get different results here Let's get a prim number and let's connect this here. And you can see we've still got, we don't got our attribute here. Let's do it inside of the loop. Yes. Let's go to the local control. Let's get this in here and let's Have a look, and you can see we've got here different extrusion hei heights, but also the cool thing we've got it every time. So, what you can do, you can place the attribute warp with the different extrusion heights, you can place it on, tr on top and transfer the attributes one time, or you can just place it into the loop and you will get 
a pretty cool effect, something like this here. So let's get this running with the sphere. Okay, that works fine. So let's just for now, I think that's pretty cool for now. Let's let's get the overall extrude a little bit lower. Or the, let's get it higher in fact. And let's just get an add node here. And remove unused points, that won't work. Let's get just a simple clean out here. So for example with the add you can do something like this by group and you will get something like this. <laughs> That's pretty cool too. But I just want to get the geo here. And for example what you can do now, you can play as a convert line and you will get something like this. So now you can get a wireframe or polywire, so the wireframe is a little bit faster but it's not actual geometry. Let's get this wire radius down here and you will get something like this. So let's get the divisions higher here. Let's get a null node here. Let's call it out and let's get a material here. Let's call this mat rs. Let's go up, let's place a shop network and a out network or rob network. rs mat and let's call this out. Let's get a simple camera here, new camera. Let's get a little bit more wider lens here, something like this. Let's get another aspect ratio, something like cinema scope here. And let's dive inside a redshift network, let's make a simple shader here. Let's place a redshift network down. Let's call this Mat Geo. Let's dive inside, place our RS material. Let's connect this to the surface and let's dive up. Let's go into the Geo, press Shift W to get this little tree here up. And let's just drag the material, drag and drop the material into the material slot from the material node. So the material is now assigned and let's dive up again and let's just place here a simple light dome down. Let's call this RS dome 001 and let's get here a simple HDRI, something like that. Let's go in our ROP network. And let's place a redshift custom. Let's call this RS out 001. And let's get a camera here. Camera still. And it's a wide 001. And the name should get automatically updated. So let's let's get here into a little bit of rendering. Let's start the render view here. We will get something like this. Let's go into the dome. Let's disable the background for now. So this already looks a little bit better. Let's get the focus here and let's enable the bokeh or the depth of field. Let's get the focus distance into the focus distance. And let's go down with the 
bokeh here a little bit, so 0 0.05, maybe 3 files, something like that. I think that should be fine. Let's hit here another spot on the geometry. Let's get another camera angle here. Get a little bit more dramatic angle here. So for example, something like that. Let's just change this to a rack. And now you can play with the materials. So for example, you can try to use a different material. So just use glass, because why not? And play around especially with, with this kind of stuff here. So you can also do something like this. And let's get the normals here running. So something like this. The whole thing out of glass. Why not? Let's get the roughness a little bit higher here. So let's fire that up again with the glass material. And we will get something like this. So let's go back into the material and let's change the roughness here. So you can play of course with the uh, materials. Let's get another one running. So that's that's pretty simple material stuff, so nothing complex. Let's get a cover preset. I really like that. So you can get something like this here. But for now let's stick with the normal material. And what you can do, let's get a curvature running here. Let's get it into the surface for previewing it. Let's get 0 0.01 here. Let's get the samples a little bit up. And let's get let's get a the copper material here and our simple base material. So let's drive the roughness with with a simple noise. So just get the normal RS noise. Let's let's leave it at fractal, let's make it a little bit more complex here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And now let's let's get a ramp running here and let's fit this whole thing here a little bit. Something like that. And let's get this into the surface. Let's get this into the roughness. So reflection roughness. So we've got a little bit of break up here. Something like that. Let's get the material a little bit darker. So, and let's get a blender here. So our RS material blender. Let's pipe that into the surface. Let's pipe the first material into the base color. Let's pipe our copper material into the layer 1 color and let's pipe our curvature into the layer 1 blend color. Let's refresh that and we will get something like this. So for now you can play here with the size a little bit, so make it a little bit bigger. And you will get this really quickly simple object. Of course you can now play here and get a little bit of break up in the edges. But I think that's for now. Pretty simple. And I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next tutorial or in the next course. And yeah, bye.